of the former kickboxer Andrew Tate. Over the weekend, they seized a fleet of luxury cars and raided a luxury villa north of the capital. Investigators have begun looking into allegations that the British-American citizen was running a human trafficking operation from his compound in Bucharest. Our correspondent, Lucy Williamson, has this. Weeks after police came for their owner, they returned for his cars. The power of a Ferrari paralysed in the grip of a dowdy police truck. Insurance against any future compensation claims from victims, but also a sign that investigators here are confident. Whatever the truth about life behind these walls, its secrets are now being scrutinised by investigators. This fleet of luxury cars, the toys of a successful businessman or the proceeds of a trafficking ring. Police raided seven more properties last week, including this villa owned by the Tates near the Carpathian Mountains. Neighbours say it was fully renovated last year, with a swimming pool added. One neighbour, an electrician, says the builders asked him to help rewire the place. When they explained what they wanted, I told them that's way beyond what I know how to do. The house is extremely luxurious, with things that people like us can't even dare to dream of. If you're living in the Western world, this is probably 40% of the reason I moved to Romania. In an online video, Andrew Tate said he moved to Romania in 2017, in part for what he saw as its relaxed approach to sexual assault claims. Police want to know whether he and his brother Tristan lured women here with promises of a relationship before forcing them to work online in adult chat rooms. They're also investigating an allegation of rape. I've never seen any of them being aggressive. Police have identified six women as potential victims, but last week two of those women publicly denied any mistreatment by the Tate brothers. No. I've never been threatened. If I had been, I wouldn't have been stupid enough to stay in that house. I have a tattoo on my left arm that says Tate Girl, which I got out of respect for them. Andrew Tate's reputation hangs on this case, but Romania's does too. Its message that trafficking claims will be invested. I'm not going to lie. I think that this is like Nixium or Nixum, however you say it. It's literally like, it, it's literally the same, bro. Nixium? It's just like, if Nixium wasn't a cult uh, revolving around, like, their main output being, like, self-help and shit, and instead, like, doing webcam stuff. But a lot of the elements are identical, dude. It's just, like, even victims coming out and, like, defending Andrew Tate in this way. Being like, no, I got branded because I fucking love him and I respect him not because I was like pressured into doing it if anything it just like low key it low key fucking <laughs> makes the situation worse like when you do it why do you want him to be guilty so bad I mean first of all that is an insane fucking question because the things that he's accused of the things that like they're investigating him over are things that he has admitted so like that's an odd thing. No VOD today. What? Did I get mass reported on my VOD too? I'm going to fucking... I'm so mad. You can't see my fucking VODs now?